These are the airplanes that That's flew what? in for the for the airlifts in Berlin during World War II. The reunification since 3rd October 1990, we have now 16 lenders or counties or states or provinces, as the way you want to call it, it's the same. Before that, we had 11 in the Federal Republic of Germany and we had 5 in the Eastern Germany. Hmm? Now, altogether it's 11. And now we are leaving the state of Hessen, it's located in the central part of the country and this one has two main activities. One of them is the agricultural activity, it's given by sugar beets, mm, potatoes or tobacco. Hmm? If you go to the west, you find vineyards later. You will find also many trees if you go to the Rhine tour this afternoon and to the south you will see many places that are full with trees. Mm, trees and trees are for apricots, plums, peaches mm, and peaches in here. You no, know, they produce in here. They, they get, you will see that the trees are very very short ones because they breed no special selection. Wait, the, I'm not an expert in botanics, but it's what they produce. What I say? And also, you're gonna find many places around the forest where they produce can. cherries, blueberries, hello. strawberries. Hello. Hmm? Hello. And hello. As a forest, because as well you will find in the state of Hessen the highest surf or the largest surfaces for forests, natural parks, parks, and botanical gardens. Hmm? They are in the state of Hessen. And maybe you have heard about the Green Brothers. Have you heard about them? Well, these were two brothers from a city, yeah, Grimm. They were from oh, a city Grimm. near Frankfurt and they used to travel all around this province and they used to collect hmm, or compile different fairy tales, hmm, about 108. And some of them are world famous. I know I'm you know them, Greta. such as Little Red Riding Hood, Hansel. Snow White, or Hansel and Gretel. And if you think a little bit about that, you will notice that most of them, they were inside forests. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, on our way to Heidelberg, you will find plenty, plenty, plenty of trees. Mm -hmm. That is the Taunus Mountains. Oh, well, in here, today it's almost impossible to see because the rain and because it's very, very foggy and the mist. There are some um, castles in there. The first one maybe we can see later on. Just the two towers of the first castle that's not important from the historical point of view. It's just you no know, part of another ring. I won't be see. Now you can see the silhouette of the mountains. Mm. Can you? It's darker. Darker part. Y les estaba entonces comentando que la parte de los viñedos, eso también es de influencia netamente romana. ¿Mm? Okay. And it's impossible to see today. Maybe when we come back, no, normally fog goes, yeah. Maybe, maybe. That's Mother Nature. Something tour guides cannot control, you know. I will tell you, I will tell you anything, some, some of the most important points of this one. Not important from the historical point of view, just part of the landscape. Well, normally, they are private properties, they have museums or restaurants or hotels, normally. Some of them, there are people living, but they are very uncomfortable because you have to climb, there are no roads to most of them.
for the students and teachers and personnel of the university was that they didn't have to pay taxes. Mm -hmm. They saved taxes. They belonged to the higher classes and they were at the beginning, at the first year, there were already 500 students in this university. Then the university was closed because of political problems. I mean, in the around the 18th century and it was refounded again princess that's why it's officially known as Ca Ruperta Carola or Rupert Carl University hmm? that was refounded in 1802 nowadays if you want to study here in Germany it's free you don't have to pay in state universities hmm? you just pay an annual tuition an annual uh, administrative fee and you can study the only thing that you need is a good knowledge of German language in so <laughs> so I was telling you about the jail so every time that the students used to get drunk they were displayed in, or in German Karzer mm -hmm. to this jail till they were okay you know, till on the left side the campus of the university mm -hmm. the modern part of the university you will see the modern buildings that belongs to the medicine school you see and there are 14 hospitals or clinics that are depending on this university mm -hmm. for teaching and all that part is the residential area they are very expensive to rent these houses some of them they are for only one family some of them are divided into different apartments all this on the left side and sometimes many students between a group of six or seven they rent hmm? and they pay a little bit everyone now you see the mountain over there in there starts a way, it's called Philosopher's Vague or Philosopher's Path and if you climb that path you have a very nice view of the old city on this side Look at the swans Is it just swans, Jimmy? the birds, the swans. You will see on top of you will see on top of the mountain a white house like a little palace with grey rooftop. Can you see? That belongs to the King Gustav of Sweden. Hmm? You know he's married to the Princess Sylvia. She's German. She's from Heidelberg. That's why. Yeah? And soon you will see on the right side a red sandstone building that's the Congress House, it's not the Parliament, it's just the Convention Center, it was made with red sandstone that was brought from the Odenwald and in here you find capacity for 1,500 people mm. with modern equipment for you know, that's speeches King and Gustav's so on. House. It's the next building that you will see King on Gustav the right side. A la derecha van a ver ahora el Congress House, esto no es un congreso, sino que es un centro de convenciones con capacidad para 1500 personas, tiene material que es piedra arenisca roja, ¿no? De Lodenval y fue construida en 1901. Luego van a ver más adelante un edificio muy antiguo, se llama el Marstal. Esas eran las antiguas caballerizas, aunque está mal denominado, ¿no? Como yo, en el mundo. Now, this building that you can see on the right is named, this receives the name of Marstal. It was the royal stables and also the arsenal, the weapons deposit. And today it has a university um, restaurant. The name of this restaurant is Mensa. Mensa, you know, it's a Latin word. It means mine. And it's the also world association of those like me who has higher than normal IQ. This is the main street. And now you will see on the left side the old university, this building was built in 1711. Este es el edificio de la vieja universidad, construido en 1711. Mm. En el primer piso está el aula magna, donde se realizan conferencias. On the first floor, you find the aula magna. 
in there there are different expositions or exhibitions or lectures that's the Jesuit church I mean the Iglesia Jesuita y el próximo edificio blanco construido en el año 30 al 32 fue hecho con dinero norteamericano donado por Henry Ford básicamente this van a ver un aula también on, en la izquierda on the left you can see now the new building of the university this was art now you can see on the left the library of the university on the right excuse me a la derecha el edificio de la universidad que alberga la librería acá hay más de dos millones de manuscritos y libros este in there yeah in there you find over two million volumes mm, books and manuscripts now you see St. Peter's Kirche or St. Peter's Church this one is dating from the 12th century yeah. it's evangelical ahora van viendo la iglesia de San Pedro San Peter's Kirche data del siglo XII y si sí, está reparada ¿no? y también 12th century it means 1900 yeah and this was this was the most important but since Rupert III built the wall around the whole part of the city this was set aside in importance esta era la más importante hasta que se construyó en el, aproximadamente en el siglo XV el muro alrededor de la ciudad entonces esta como quedó fuera del muro y la otra que van a ver más tarde estaba dentro de las de la murallas esta fue dejada de lado ¿no? Nice. Buildings. Can you see? This is the women jail. Mm, women prison is too so you get lodging for free you can see So now we get to know nice it's nice the way down. agua llegaba hasta las rodillas, nunca lo podían llenar más de las rodillas. Pero lo hicieron, lo hicieron muy grande. Sí, 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 bueno, no, 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 proporcionado, Red 
sand spelled from the area. You can see it behind. Nowadays, there's just a simple roof here upon the wall. See it goes outside, looks like that. In the old days, it was a big building. There have been several floors here upon the hall. The whole building was called Women's Building because all board ladies lived up there in the old days. And down the hall, they had not only the balls and banquets in the evening, I read it somewhere sometimes, that games here inside, nights. So the weather outside was bad, they had their fancy competitions here inside. Sometimes it was a workshop, some of the sculptures were made here inside, and the great wine barrel of the Heidelberg Castle was prepared in this hall as well. We made the pieces here in the hall, then they put them together down the wine cellar.